I am never going to buy an EV ever again. I hope I can stick to this, but I think I will. I was just having a conversation today with a an executive from one of the other car company, one of the one of the big EV car companies in Australia. They said to me, there's still a lot of people that are concerned about charging. There's still a lot of people that are worried about getting to the next charging station, having enough range. Now, I think that's crazy, but it's true that there are people concerned about that. It It's sort of something that when you own an EV goes away for most people. For me, it's something that doesn't bother me at all. In fact, I think if you've got the right apps and you know where all the charges are, it's not an issue. But it is true that some people feel this way. Hopefully, things like the New South Wales government committing to building 500 new fast and ultra fast charging stations across the state in the next 12 months will have a big impact. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans, and I love electric cars. Love them. Even if people in my town where I live right now, some of them hate me because I love electric cars. Literally, you should see the way that some of them look at me. They think I'm this somehow this representative of EVs, and I'm supporting the evil takeover of the electric car of their, their diesel-polluting engine. And, well, I'm happy to accept that mantle if, well, if it's going to help in any way. The New South Wales government is investing $40 million to build more than 500 new fast and ultra fast charging bays across the state to recharge EVs in just 15 minutes. If, they can, if they're saying to recharge EVs in 15 minutes, then these charging bays have to be quick. And they are. Many of them will be 350 kilowatt charging stations, which is awesome because, guys, my next EV is going to have minimum 350 kilowatt charging. I am never going to buy an EV ever again. I hope I can stick to this, but I think I will. That doesn't have a minimum of 350 kilowatt charging because, well, why not, right? Why not? The funding comes as part of the first round of fast charging grants, which is set to co-fund 86 new fast and ultra fast EV charging stations, each with four to 15 bays. The successful applicants the round in this round are Ampol, BP, so gas stations, EV networks, an EV network, Tesla, the NRMA, and Zeus Renewables, and all stations will be built over the next 24 months. They're having to get it done quicker, but anyway, over the next 24 months with a mix of highway and inner city sites. 500 bays, is it enough? No, of course not, but these are 500 that are being sponsored. So there'll be more coming from privately from businesses as well. New South Wales Treasurer and Minister for Energy, Matt Keane, said the investment will see the largest, fastest, and most comprehensive public EV charging network in Australia. I think that's probably true. New South Wales is going, well, not all in on EVs, but they're certainly pretty into them. They're supporting them more than most other states, certainly a lot more than Victoria is. Each of these stations will, con will contain a minimum of two ultra-fast EV charging bays, of 350 kilowatt capacity and two fast charging bays of 175 kilowatt with some stations containing up to 15 bays. Basically what the New South Wales government is saying that for each station you rock up, there's gonna be two bays that'll support charging of 175 kilowatt and another two next to it that'll have 350 kilowatt. So this is really good. Most charging stations right now, the smaller ones that are not on main highways, they have two charging stations, that's it. Not four, just two. And often you'll find one will be fast and one won't be as fast. The ultra fast chargers will be able to charge modern EVs from 20 to 80% in around 15 minutes, and all stations will be fully powered with renewable energy. This is the first of an expected three funding rounds with hundreds more stations to be built over the coming years. So they're saying there's going to be three funding rounds, hundreds more stations being built over the coming years. I'm going to guess we're going to see comments in the comment section saying 50 is not enough but these guys probably didn't wait till the end of the video to see that there'll be hundreds more over the coming years, which will be necessary, 100% necessary. But you've got to combine these as well with the pole, right? The pole PowerPoint charges we're going to see. So those, you know, street poles where the electrical wires go through your street, they're common in Australia, very, very common. A lot of countries they're not, but they're very common in Australia. And a lot of, a lot, not these ones, but a lot of other EV charging points are going to be put on those poles by electricity networks themselves. The New South government has a target to add 250 fast and ultra fast charging stations in total across New South Wales, ensuring charges are no more than five kilometers 
apart in metropolitan far in metropolitan areas and no more than 100 kilometers apart on major roads and highways across New South Wales. So no more than 100 kilometers apart on major roads. That's good. And five kilometers apart in metro areas. That's really good. The second round of co-funding is expected to open towards the end of this year. 500 new fast charges. Is it enough? Well, no, but it's a very good start. I'm happy to see this. And honestly, I think um, it's kind of, kind of a thing where we criticize the government. It's a really common thing. We rarely actually say, when the government decides something good, we really say, hey, thank you, government. This is a good idea. Well done. So in this case, I'm going to say that. Thank you, government. This is great. And let's keep it going. What are your thoughts? Bye-bye. Volkswagen, even though its electric car sales have grown by 50% this year, says its actual order base has reduced significantly. It's, of course, shut down some of its electric car production. Here's what the company said has happened to their orders this year. Hello, my friends. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in and welcome to all the new subscribers. Volkswagen released its third quarter 2023 results. I just reported on those. If you want to see those, I'll put a link in the description to my video about Volkswagen Group's results. But its profits are at the lowest point that they've been in more than 10 years, profits per car sold. And obviously a key part of that reason is it's making a loss on every electric car that it sells. Volkswagen's CFO said that EV orders are down by 50% in Europe and their order intake has fallen short. They say this is because of a slowdown in the overall market. Now, to keep in mind the context of this, Volkswagen Group are saying they've paused EV production because the order books have fallen for EVs. But this does raise a question here. We have to ask the question, was the Volkswagen Group telling us the truth? Were they telling us the truth when they said that they had a year and a half worth of orders six months ago? That's what Volkswagen Group said. They, have says, they said demand is not a problem. We have a, a year to a year and a half of orders. It seems as though possibly either people have canceled their orders because they don't want to wait for them, or Volkswagen as a group was maybe exaggerating a little bit the number of orders they actually had. This is the kind of information that I think the SEC needs to investigate. The SEC is allowing car companies to pretty much publish and say anything, particularly car companies like Nissan and Toyota who have claimed they have solid state batteries but are not willing to show the media the actual products. I think we need some verification here. We need There needs to be some checks and balances made to prove that companies are actually doing what they say they'll do. Because 